YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, is very, very different from my channel. It's probably my first ever, or maybe second ever, cooking video. But this video is strictly eating, hauling, and cooking. That's all this video is. So today's video is going to be a week in my Trader Joe's meals. A week in my eating at Trader Joe's. My week in cooking at Trader Joe's. I haven't thought of a title yet. But you guys saw what the title was when you clicked said video. What I'm going to be basically doing in this video is I'm going to go shopping at Trader Joe's. I'm going to buy some items. Trader Joe's frozen food department for us non-cooks, us not great cooks is chef's kiss so today's video i'm going to show you as i go through i'm going to buy some items and then i'm going to cook it all throughout this week and i'm going to tell you whether said items are trash or they're good you guys know if you've been watching my channel that i'm on a financial journey a debt-free journey and my biggest vice is really eating out it is really buying food so i want to see if i can replace my eat out schedule my going out to everybody's viva of chicken or all these places that I get my money constantly if i can save on doing that and i can actually cook in the home that would be the biggest win so today is the actual shopping day i'm going to show you what i get from trader joe's but then i'm also going to walk you through every day this week that i can i know that eat out bug will creep in at some point but i'm going to try to halt it this week and show you me exclusively eating from trader joe's this week if you want to see that just keep watching So now I am back. I'm about to haul everything that I got. I got a lot, I think, kind of, ish. Got a lot, ish. I don't know if I'll be able to eat all of this in a week, but uh, my total from Trader Joe's of everything I got came down to 128.73. But nothing I bought was more than well, something was nine dollars. Something was seven dollars. But everything else is between the like 3.99, 5.99, 4.99 range. So gonna show you everything first bag from Trader Joe's I've heard amazing things about it's their mandarin chicken or mandarin orange chicken I've heard great things about this most everything I got is frozen again Trader Joe's we're testing out Trader Joe's frozen foods which is supposed to be really good I've actually tried one thing that I have in this bag I know it's so cheap it's $2.99 I ran in the store one time and got it and I loved it it's their linguine with pesto and tomatoes. I loved it the time that I got it, but this time I want to try it with some protein added, some form of meat, shrimp, chicken, whatever the case may be. I want to try it with like an added meat in. So I loved that. I got, I don't know if this is going to be good or not. I've never had like frozen tacos, but I was going to try their mini tacos. Again, super cheap. I got their beef fried rice with kimchi with vegetables and grilled I've seen good things about this going around. I got this new item that I saw on Black Girls in Trader Joe's. If you do not follow that account on Instagram, you're really missing out. It puts me on game to like the greatest things. Like a lot of these, like the Mandarin chicken that was on Black Girls in Trader Joe's. They talked about the breaded fried ravioli. People were going in on this saying that it was amazing. So I want to try it. The thing I don't have is an air fryer, which they do give instructions on how to pan fry and conventional oven it. But I would love an air fryer for this. I also got two pizzas. I hear their box pizzas are like better than most stores. So I got their roasted garlic and pesto pizza. And then I got this, a very fit French thin crust with brie cheese and tomatoes. Those not pepperonis. Those those are tomatoes on there so we're gonna see how that is then my next bag i just got some tortilla chips and harvest chili i don't know what this is gonna be but it's some harvest chili that i wanted to try as well as i got some lentil soup some lentil with ancient grain soup 
I wanted to try their spinach kale Greek yogurt dip. I hear amazing things about it, so I want to actually try it. And then last night, but not least, I got these Partake cookies, which I think are at Target as well. These are black owned. It's a black owned business. Um, I have tried the sprinkle cookies before. I really love them. I have not tried chocolate chip. A lot of people, when I showed them on Instagram a while ago, was like, get the chocolate chip. They're actually really good. They are um, vegan and gluten free and allergen free. So they don't have nuts, egg, wheat, dairy, soy, fish, shellfish, mustard, sesame, and sulfite, which I did not know that uh, fish and shellfish was ever a possibility of being in a cookie, but good to know that it doesn't have it. These funny enough taste like nut, like they have nut in them. And it's so funny that they do not, but it's like just, it tastes like um, if you had a dosy -si dough, I used to be a Girl Scout coming up. And if you've ever had dosy -si dough cookies and not the part in the middle but the actual cookie part this tastes just like that so this is everything just wanted to haul it for you what am I gonna cook for lunch so right now it is about lunch time it is noon so what am I going to cook since I just came from the store I don't think I want to do pasta I think I'm just gonna do a soup and actually try some of that kale dip so that's gonna be my first meal my first meal is going to be testing out of the soup I think I'm gonna do a lentil soup my iron's been a little low, my energy's been a little low, I know lentils help with that, so that's why I got the soup. We're gonna test that with a little bit of a snack of the chips and dip. And then that'll be meal number one. So meal number one, we have the lentil soup, looks good, steamy hot. We got the chips with that spinach and kale, the yogurt Greek dip, and then we have those partake chocolate chip cookies. Now this will be my first time trying all of this, so I will give you guys a taste test, but overall, you see the meal, this is meal number one. So testing out the lentil soup, I'm trying to figure out what to compare it to. And I can compare it to, if you've ever been to Zoe's Kitchen, it's a Mediterranean type restaurant. They have like a lentil soup there. It tastes just like that. Moving on to the artichoke dip. This dip is good, but I can't figure out what the flavor, like what it tastes like. I can't compare it to anything. It's like a unique taste that's good like not in a bad way like if i had artichoke spinach and artichoke dip typically it's like hot it's from a restaurant and this has that same taste but cold you know of course but it's like i don't know what that it, it's good it's good i just don't know how to classify it now i'm going to take a bite of this cookie and see as far as the cookie it's not bad, it's chocolate chip. I, I definitely can taste the chocolatey chip of it. I do like a more, I don't know, flavorful chocolate chip cookie. I do prefer the sprinkles. I really, I killed the sprinkle version of this, but this is my first time trying the chocolate chip. I don't know what it is. I, I'm a more warm, Nestle Toll House, fresh out the oven type gal. I rarely love a box chocolate chip cookie. Again, this isn't bad, it's just a different taste. So grating, love that lentil soup I, I don't think you can go wrong with the lentil soup again it just for me being anemic it just gives me energy gives me peps it just helps me out a little bit so love that love this dip this dip i'm gonna kill this dip like i'm probably gonna kill this dip today and the cookies not bad but probably won't be my favorite i'll probably always buy the sprinkle over the chocolate chip but just gonna finish off meal number one and then probably dinner time meal number two will come see you then now I am back and I have my evening meal. It is roughly going to be 6 o'clock soon. I have to watch WandaVision tonight and get my show in. I love WandaVision right now. It's my show of life so I gotta have a good meal while I'm eating. I hear today's episode is actually really good. My sister already watched. She texted me and was like girl get into it. So I need a good meal. For dinner I'm going to just make this pizza it's the roasted garlic and pesto pizza with deep fried crust it says it's going to be ready in about 15 minutes 
So I'm gonna prepare that. What I'm gonna have with it is, I'll probably get some of these everything but the bagel chips from Trader Joe's. I've actually never tried them before. I know I didn't haul them in today's video. I actually bought them the last time I went to Trader Joe's, but I just didn't eat them for some odd reason. Uh, so I wanted to eat them today. So I'm gonna try them out, give you guys thumbs up or thumbs down on these chips. Now I know I have probably have some people who are screaming at the screen earlier when I said I did not like the chocolate chip version of the partake cookies and I gave it a thumbs down but you just got to know my taste buds your taste buds could be different I'm somebody who did not like chips ahoy I don't like chips ahoy I do not like unwarm chocolate chip cookies love a good warm chocolate chip cookie I got a pack of Nestle Toll House in the refrigerator waiting for me any moment now so I love warm chocolate chip cookies never liked the shelved box ones if I'm gonna eat a shelf box cookie I like more of a sugar cookie I have this cookie that I got from Publix a couple days ago that I just been sitting on I don't know why I haven't eaten it yet you clearly see I have a cookie finish so that's why I think I leaned more towards this it's not that it tastes like a sugar cookie it's just that it's not chocolate chip so for people who are like swearing at the screen because I gave the chocolate chip a thumbs down you just got to know what my chocolate chip preferences are but while I'm talking why wasn't I preheating the oven let me preheat the oven and get started on this pizza so that I can enjoy my dinner while I'm cozying up tonight So we got the pizza, uh, looks pretty similar to the box, I mean got the little areas of the pesto on there, we're going to see how that tastes. I got the everything but the bagel chips and I put some of that dip on the side, that spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip is the bomb, like I can see me eating that all the time, switching it out for, I used to be, I mean I still am I guess to an extent, if I eat chips I always get my uh, Lay's, the smooth ranch dip child, this thing slaps. But this is actually really good too. And then I got my little cookies as well. So a full meal as I watch tonight. Oh, and you guys saw me pour my wine. I got my Stella Rosa right here. So I got it all loaded up. And I will give you my thumbs up or thumbs down. Only one thing I've actually had before. And it's these cookies. So it's already a thumbs up. I don't even have to ruin my appetite with eating my sweets first. These cookies actually are really good to me. I'll tell you how these chips taste and this pizza taste coming up right now. So first gonna test, let's do the pizza first. It's very warm. I can definitely say the cheese is extra gooey looking. Looks like a flatbread that you would get at somebody's restaurant. Definitely when I cut into it, it had a little bit of felt like oils but it might have been the pesto Winnie you guys can't really see her from my angle but she's doing what she normally does and begs as I eat <laughs> let's do this taste test I'm trying to think what to compare it as because I'm trying to think have I eaten a lot of flatbread pizzas before it has a I don't know if this is a chain restaurant or if it's only like a Charlotte restaurant. I never know, but it tastes like pizzas from Vapiano's. It's a restaurant uptown Charlotte. Again, I don't know. I think it's not a chain, but think about an Italian restaurant, flatbread pizza. It has that taste to it. It definitely has that quality. I think there is some olive oilage ness in here. The thing about it, I will say, is once I take a couple more bites, it's just going to be bread. And I'm not like a big bread. I wish it were more of the cheeses of the pesto and not all this bread but first bite and really second bite I'm pretty good it's pretty good again for what is this five dollars it's not that expensive and it's a whole meal so really like that now let me try the chips first I'm gonna try it without the dip I'm trying to I can't think of the taste of it. It's not like anything I've had before in a good way. It's like not like anything I've had before. It's 
got that kettle crunched crunch but not as if you had a lays kettle cook like chip before it's kind of greasy even though it's not as greasy as a traditional chip the kettle cook still got a level of it this is definitely baked with a little less grease than a normal chip and you definitely taste that pack of that everything but the bagel seasoning if you've never tried everything but the bagel seasoning from a trader joe's you're missing out but it has that kick of that it's cooked like the chip isn't cooked as greasily as like a normal like even the panera bread chips say if you've ever had those those have a they're cooked very good but they're like also got a level of greasiness to them these don't have that as much so i'm about to turn my tv on watch me some wandavision and then come back tomorrow with my day two of meals from Trader Joe's. So now I am back for day two of my Trader Joe meals. And today it was a debate. I was going to maybe go with that beef kimchi or and maybe that's for dinner. Maybe that's for dinner. But it's lunchtime now. It's 12.05 p.m. And so now I am going to create my lunch. Now I decided to go with the ravioli. Now backstory not a big ravioli fan when it was ravioli day at school i was always disappointed because i have never loved the consistency of ravioli for me i like my pasta and i like my meat separates i did not like the combined having those chunks of meat inside of pasta it never was good for me so i knew if it was ravioli day i was gonna go with whatever the option was at school whether it was a chicken sandwich which i hated those in school but i hated ravioli more so i have never been a ravioli fan but 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 I heard that these are actually really good. I like the fact that they look cheesy on the inside so it doesn't look like the typical like I got a bunch of beef in here. So they seem to be like a more cheesier version. Now when I was buying this in Trader Joe's my man was like oh you getting stuff for the big game because the game Super Bowl weekend. I completely forgot with it being a pandemic but I was getting all these frozen foods. He was like okay you getting things for the big game. I was like didn't remember until you just said it. So this seems like a good app type meal so it's not like a full meal i decided to pair with it today i'm going to try the harvest chili so i'm going to make this chili reading the ingredients i saw chili and that's what made me buy it when i got it here and i actually read the ingredients it has a lot of things that i don't know how i feel about it got the butternut squash cauliflower sweet potato smeared with a pumpkin puree so the butternut squash the cauliflower the sweet potatoes the pumpkin puree all mixed together don't know it's not sounding like the regular beans meat type of a chili but we'll see i don't think there's any meat type thing in this thing but i'm gonna make this my meal for today so i'm gonna try this fried ravioli we're gonna try this gonna give you the thumbs up or thumbs down of approval the oven has already been preheated so all i have to do is place in the oven 425 degrees put on a baking sheet cook for about 10 to 12 minutes turning over once during heating and then remove because i don't have the air fryer air fryer is so much simpler you want a more crispy texture but let's just try the oven texture we'll see it can't be that bad Okay, so we have them all done and then we have the chili right here you can see a little bit more of the beans in there they do have black beans in here as well and we have that I do have in the background these chips I didn't talk about them yesterday because I guess I don't know why I didn't but they're the Trader Joe's organic white corn tortilla chips very good I really liked these these were really good I find myself munching on them that's why they're sitting here open I find myself munching on them while I was waiting for this to cook but uh yes today we are eating these two and I was gonna eat some more sprinkle cookies for dessert but I think I just need to go ahead and finish off this Publix cookie that's been sitting here like so I'm gonna have this so we're not talking any other brands but just to let you guys know the Publix bakery is on point so first, going to test out the chili. So let's try that first. So for the chili, I definitely say like it. Don't taste any of those butternut squash, cauliflower, pumpkin, any sweet potatoes. I don't taste any of that. I will say if I'm gonna compare it to something, 
chili wise like a universal chili if you go into wendy's and gotten their chili before that's a lot more bold that has a bolder taste this is definitely more tame which i like panera breads turkey chili maybe similar along those lines but there's no meat in this but it tastes kind of meaty it tastes like it has a meatier vibe to it so really liking the chili now let's test out these raviolis which is the true star of today now if you want more of a crispier vibe go for pan frying I can definitely say, wish maybe I had an air fryer or I had pan fried them to make them a little bit more crispier. They're a little bit more, not soggier, but they're definitely a different, you could tell that these are meant to be consumed crunchier. Now I will say the taste of them, let me, let me bite into another one. To me, they really taste like like a mozzarella stick, to be honest. And this is the one thing I have seen hyped up on the internet. I've seen these like, oh my god, they're so good. They're not bad, but like, they're mozzarella sticks to me. I get that they're shaped like ravioli, but to me, they're just mozzarella sticks. So, they're not, I wouldn't say bad. I wouldn't say like, oh my god, run out and buy these. I'm just saying like, these just taste like fancy mozzarella sticks. Or like, ravioli shaped mozzarella sticks. Because, if you look on the inside of them. It just kind of have that cheese on the inside. I don't know if you're supposed to consume them with something else, but to me, it's just like a mozzarella. So I'm gonna finish it off though, and I'm definitely glad I made my chili so I can have something a little bit more hearty on the side, because these by themselves are definitely just the appetizer. Like that man said, this would be a good like, you know, finger food for your Super Bowl parties, but like if you're trying to make a meal meal to impress somebody, I don't know, maybe that kimchi tonight will hit different, but finishing this off and you guys will see me for dinner. So now I am back, it is dinner time. It is actually 9.14, so it's a little bit later of a meal for me. I got caught up, I was watching Suicide Squad. My sister told me to check it out. I know that movie is like four years old. She told me it was good. It was not, but uh, I got caught up in that. So now that I'm finished watching it, I am going to make tonight's meal, which is that Korean and Fire bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi today. This is gonna be tonight's meal. It does say heat a non stick frying pan over medium high heat, add contents of bag, cook for seven minutes, or internal temperature reaches 165 Fahrenheit. Um, it does have microwave instructions as well, but I'm going to be putting it in this pan that you guys can see right here cooking that tonight i did want to update on the mozzarella i really feel like like after i turn off the camera and that's the thing i don't want to film myself eating because this isn't a month bang so i'm not filming every single bite but i can come later provide some updates i do feel like that ravioli would have slapped a little harder if i pan fried it like i was sitting here like i'm on a no spin so i'm not trying to buy an air fryer so i was like maybe i should have like pan fried it and had the different result because after i ate a few more i was like this would be good but i think i'm missing like a crunchier external texture so i want to try it again so i'm not totally giving up i might revert my answer i gave it a meh and it's still like cheese sticks but i would have loved a crispier texture of it so again just an update but this is heated up it does not tell me to put any like olive oils in it so I have my olive oil here that I bought but it's not telling me to add any to it so maybe I don't need it but let me open this up put it in and we will have tonight's meal So this is the finished product. The meat on here does look a bit more browner, but I couldn't leave it on for any longer or else I was gonna have a lot of burn marks in here. Again, let's get ready for that taste test. So I have to say, the meat is very chewy it's a very chewy chewy beef you're not getting a very much so two bites and you're done you're gonna have to kind of chew through it which some asian restaurants have that chewy beef too you guys know when you get them low main that beef low main sometimes the beef is a little chew 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 so it got that taste to it i say overall the rice and everything else is really good this green bean let me try that i mean it's what you would expect for a frozen and then cooked 
green bean would taste like. But not a bad meal. Not a bad meal for the price point. Um, definitely think this is like a serving size. Like you can probably get one person. This bag is only good for one person. Don't think you about to feed a family off of this whole meal because you're not. You might be able to feed one person. This could be a side dish. This is not your main course. You have this and then something on the side. So I don't know what I'm going to maybe get some more of those chips and dip because that spinach dip was so good. So maybe that'll be what I combine with this. And then I'll see you guys again for tomorrow's meal. So now I am back for day two and I have to say probably the meal that I've been looking least forward to just because I don't know how it's going to be and it is these mini beef tacos. Now I don't know if I've ever even had a frozen taco. Looking at even the picture of it, my taco is crispy. This is looking more soft, more corn. If I'm going to have a taco, I prefer it to be flour if it's going to be soft. So yeah, I'm intrigued on this. Now again, this video is a very much so experimental video. So we'll see. I am already preheating the oven. They do have cooking instructions for a conventional oven pan frying and microwave as with most of the things that I've shown you today. But I'm choosing to actually do use an oven today. So we are preheating and then I will put in and bake for six to eight minutes or until crispy and let stand for one minute before serving. So let's see how this goes. So this is the finished product of the beef tacos I can say for it looking like the box and of course no expectation for it to look exactly like the box they got the fake cheese tomatoes and peppers in this on here it looks like just a thing of meat thing of meat inside so I added my own if you can see sour cream and salsa over here I do have cheese but we're just gonna see what this we're gonna start with this before I get too invested again box versus reality we'll see how it tastes coming up right now it's a no it's a strong no. It's a definitely not on my watch with these beef tacos. Now the beef is very, it looks very sturdy if you look like right here. Kind of looks like real beef and then you kind of open it a little bit and then it becomes like, I don't know, it looks like refried beans all of a sudden but still claiming to be beef. I like authentic Mexican food. I am not a Taco Bell head. I'm not even a, like a Tex-Mex person. I'm authentic Mexican food because when you go to a restaurant, it's not even like the tacos are expensive. It's like two fifty for one, like five dollars for three at my local place. So again, you get affordability, you get authentic, you get real ingredients. This might intrigue like a child. Maybe like these would be like a cute little, oh we're having little tacos, but again, just get you a taco kit and just ground you up some beef and make it that way. Just do not go the easy route with this. So this was um, not a good one. I'm actually probably gonna, for the first time, have to break my no spin and go get some actual lunch. I don't wanna cook anything else. I wanna save my other frozen foods for later. So I'm gonna actually leave and, and probably get some real food. Not my favorite. Now I am back for the final meal. I decided I don't want this video to be too long. I know I have so many other frozen goodies, but I don't want this video to be too long. So I decided to end it with the much acclaimed mandarin orange chicken um bacon serve a savory dish of tender battered chicken with mandarin orange sauce looking at the kind of ingredients of it it does contain dark meat i am more of a white meat chicken person if i had a preference i always like the white meat better i'm more of a, a wing and a breast more than a drumstick and a thigh type of a girl but we'll we'll see it it has the instructions for oven and skillet starts with oven oven you have to cook for 18 to 20 minutes so i'm gonna need to go ahead and preheat that oven now at 400 degrees lay on the baking sheet 18 to 20 minutes 
and so crisp and golden and then it has instructions for a sauce so it says for the sauce pour sauce into microwave safe bowl microwave for one to two minutes so I'm assuming there's a sauce pack in here that will do that job for me so I am going to also make some white rice I think since it's gonna take so long to cook I always like if I'm gonna have chicken to be over a bed of rice type of a thing if I have like bang bang shrimp I like to have some white rice with it I'm gonna wait till the oven preheats and we're going to have this be the final test of a Trader Joe's meal let's see how this tastes So this is the mandarin chicken. I will say it smells really chickeny. I know that sounds weird, but like when you get a frozen food, sometimes it doesn't really have the smell of the item that you're trying to cook. Um, it does really smell really good. So I have high expectations for this meal, but let's do that famed taste test. Okay, so I briefly forgot that I was even filming a video because I was eating it like it was an actual meal. This actually tastes really, really good. Like, extremely good restaurant quality. You just want to order and take out. You don't want to order take out. You want to do it at home. This is that equivalent. Just make you a side of steamed rice. You got your restaurant quality food right at your doorstep. This is actually really, really good. But, this is where I'm going to close out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than my channel and I know you're probably like, why choose Trader Joe's? Why not just go to Food Lion, Harris Teeter, Publix, just choose any random place and get their frozen food and then do this. I chose Trader Joe's because there's this big cloud over Trader Joe's. They are the best when it comes to frozen food. Although they are owned by Aldi, Aldi ironically is the parent company of Trader Joe's, which when you think of Aldi, you think of you bagging your own groceries, you think of the cashier sitting down comfortably in their chairs. You think of low prices and then you think of Trader Joe's and you get those equally low prices but the shopping experience is a wee bit different. I'll have to say I do like some of their frozen foods that I've actually bought like they are better to me than other you know brands frozen foods but you guys let me know down below are there items that you like from Trader Joe's that I didn't try that I should try are there other stores you actually want me to do this challenge for maybe Publix does have the frozen foods maybe Sprouts has it maybe Earth Fair has it you guys let me know I mean if it's a store we don't have here in North Carolina like Wegmans or something then no I can't do that but I can try something for you guys out there. You guys just let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't, still give it a big thumbs up. Don't be a hater over here. Support the channel. Make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram at leolavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.